Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace. The cabinet extended its congratulations to the King, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, on being awarded the Abu Bakr Al Sadiq Medal First Class by the Arab Red Crescent and Red Cross Organization in appreciation of His Majesty's humanitarian efforts. The cabinet commended the visions of His Majesty the King, which has showcased the Kingdom of Bahrain as a model of success in providing humanitarian relief. His Royal Highness then directed for the swift documentation of all damage caused by the rainfall and to compensate those who have been affected by it. He also ordered the development of sustainable drainage solutions in areas where rainwater has accumulated, in addition to ongoing work to modernize and develop stormwater infrastructure. The Cabinet praised the efforts of the Ministry of Interior, the General Directorate of Civil Defense, the General Directorate of Traffic, and the Ministry of Forks, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning in managing the impact of the recent rainfall. The Cabinet also thanked the citizens of Bahrain for their cooperation, spirit, and sense of national responsibility when faced with this situation. The Cabinet approved the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Government Executive Committee concerning the formulation of legislation that strengthens the rule of law, safeguards rights and supports development. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft law to implement the terms of agreement between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Nations Development Program. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU for cooperation renewable energy between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Morocco. A memorandum by the Minister of Finance and National Economy regarding subscription rights for the sixth general increase in the capital of the Islamic Development Bank. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to a proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet then reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Finance and National Economy regarding the quarterly economic report for the third quarter of 2021. The results of the nominal GDP showed that the economy grew by 10.2% compared to the same period last year, supporting by growth in the non-oil sector of 5.9 percent. The real GDP growth rate was 2.1 percent on an annual basis, with the non-oil sector recording growth of 3.8 percent. The Cabinet then took note of the Ministry report regarding the Kingdom's participation in the 10th meeting of the Arab High Committee to review the implementation of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals in Arab countries.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Speaker of the Council of Representatives Fawzia Zainal, MP Mahmoud Makil Bahrani and member of the Municipal Council Zainab Al Drazi, representing the 12th District in the Northern Governorate at Glebia Palace. His Royal Highness directed the swift documentation of all flood-related damages and compensation for those affected by the rainfall. He also ordered the development of sustainable drainage solutions in areas where rainwater has accumulated. He noted the importance of developing sustainable rainwater drainage systems to further further enhance the quality of the kingdom's infrastructure in line with international best practices to ensure their quality and sustainability. This comes in line with the plans to accelerate the pace of achievement which must be accompanied by the diligent implementation of the proposed ideas and innovation solutions in all fields. His Royal Highness also noted that the priorities of government work are based on achieving the aspirations of citizens according to the requirements of the present and the future. He emphasized that collective efforts which transforms challenges into opportunities remain key to the Kingdom's ongoing comprehensive development. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of continued cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities to achieve the Kingdom's development goals. Topics outlined by the Cabinet were discussed, including measures taken by relevant government authorities in response to the rain and its impact on road networks and residential areas in recent days, as well as ongoing efforts by the Ministry of Forks, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning in developing sustainable solutions to further enhance the Kingdom's infrastructure for their part. The Speaker of the mem and the Member of Parliament and the member of the Municipal Council representing the 12 districts in the Northern Governorate expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's commitment to supporting the executive and legislative authorities in serving the Kingdom and its citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Chairman of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's Shura Council, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Sheikh, and an accompanying delegation at the Libya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the historical ties between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, which continue to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He noted Bahrain's commitment to strengthening cooperation across various fields for the benefit of both countries. He welcomed Dr. Sheikh Abdullah Al Sheikh and an accompanying delegation to Bahrain and expressed his wish for their visit will further enhance parliamentary cooperation. For his part, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and highlighted His Royal Highness's continued support to bolstering Bahraini Saudi relations. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawzi Yazainal, and the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delivered a statement during the launch of the fourth edition of King Hamad Award for Youth Empowerment, in which he affirmed that Bahrain has become a model in empowering the youth on the international level and making them partners in building the future, which are in line with the visions of His Majesty the King. He stressed the importance of this award and its role in involving the youth and their initiati initiative on the international arenas in order to achieve the desired goals. He added that the award is in fourth edition is a motivation and a challenge for the youth in presenting their ideas and projects that aim to achieve sustainable development goals. His Highness pointed out that the strong partnership between Bahrain and the UNDP enhanced the status of the award and in turn will enhance the status of the award internationally, ensure its success and achieve the aspired goals. His Highness expressed confidence in the success of the award and urged the international community, government entities and public sector, the youth entities, to encourage the youth in taking part in the award and contribute in achieving sustainable development. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed the Royal Humanitarian Foundation to access claims and disperse aid accordingly for families who are affected by the rainfall in Bahrain. His Highness extended deepest thanks and gratitude for His Majesty the King, the honorary president of the foundation, for his royal care and times of adversity. He also commended the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in this regard. The representative council speaker for the Yazain and held a discussion session with the chairman of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's Shura Council, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Sheikh, and a high level Saudi parliamentary delegation. Zainal hailed the depth of the historic and strategic ties between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and their development under the leadership of His Majesty the King and Saudi King. 
She affirmed the importance of the safety of Saudi Arabia to the stability of the region, expressing pride in its pivotal role in supporting the interests of the Arab and Islamic nations. They discussed means of bolstering bilateral ties at all levels. She affirmed the important role of the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, in the development of both kingdoms. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah Al Sheikh expressed thanks to Zainal for the invitation, affirming that this discussion session is an opportunity to enhance cooperation and coordination between the two councils. He affirmed that the bilateral ties are a distinguished model of cohesion and unity of destiny and praised their continuous development in various fields. He also hailed Bahrain's development under the leadership of His Majesty the King, affirming the Shura Council's keenness to work with the Bahraini Parliament in support of their development in the two brotherly countries. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, met with the chairman of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's Shura Council, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Sheikh, and a high level Saudi parliamentary delegation. He held the depth of the historic and strategic ties between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and their development under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the Saudi King. He affirmed the importance of safety of Saudi Arabia to the stability of the region, expressing pride in its pivotal role in supporting the interests of the Arab and Islamic nations. They discussed means of bolstering bilateral ties at all levels. He affirmed the important role of the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, and the development of both kingdoms. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah Al Sheikh expressed thanks to Saleh, affirming that this discussion session is an opportunity to enhance cooperation and coordination between the two councils. He affirmed that the bilateral ties are a distinguished model of cohesion and unity of destiny, and praised their continuous developments in various fields. During his visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain and in a special interview with Bahrain International Television, the President of the Interparliamentary Union, Duarte Baccio, commended the efforts of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, during which he highlighted His Majesty's keenness on supporting parliamentary life in Bahrain and hailed the Kingdom's efforts to promote human rights, foster civil and political rights, disseminate gender equality and develop restorative justice. Allow me to say, it will be one very important visit for me to see that uh, a small country, but with a long history, can and may have huge responsibilities, not just in this region, but in our world. Because if we share with others your values, we will have a better world. And so this is one, of, one point that we have in common. IPU, but also Bahrain, your history, your uh, thoughts, and your behavior. You know, IPU was created 130 years ago, putting dialogue and cooperation between countries and people as essential to achieve peace, development, and a better world. It may be words from a Bahrainian. And so, it is a real success, and I hope it will enforce the links between the organization and, of course, your parliament. Also during the same interview, the IPU president hailed the development he saw in parliamentary work in the kingdom, as well as the continuous march of modernization to attain further progress and prosperity. It was a very impressive uh, meeting. After five minutes, it seems that... Uh, we are friends for a long time. Uh, it's one characteristic of Majesty that uh, impressed me a lot. But uh, also the cooperation of the world. Uh, it's easy to understand that it's not just uh, with words, with speech, but with actions to achieve peace and understanding. And this is uh, directions that he gave to your people but to the region as well. We are, because we know there is, we are in a region with a lot of conflicts, where sometimes people do not respect and people do not understand the others. And Majesty said, very open, 
we think that human beings are all equal and we need to treat everyone equally. Everyone has, to, to, has the right to be free, to show us their religious, to, show us, uh, to choose their behavior, to understand what they want to be. And this is a land of, of opportunities for everyone. Everyone will be welcome in Bahrain to achieve a better country uh, and a better life for uh, everyone. It was a very impressive meeting. And I hope that other leaders may learn and hear what Your Majesty says and is doing in your country. The Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning continued today its drainage operations across the kingdom. The operation included 25 locations and the Ministry affirmed that all roads in Bahrain are passable and that rainwater drainage systems are under control and are operating with the expected efficiency. The emergency team is working around the clock to open the main roads and streets in cooperation with the various concerned authorities. The police directorates and governorates and security directorates have taken excessive efforts during the recent heavy rain in the kingdom. The efforts included regulating traffic and dealing with cases received by the main operations rooms. The operations directorates activate the emergency plan in coordination with police directorates, civil defense and traffic that included field procedures that brought situations to normal. The operations room dealt with 292 cases from December 30th to January 2nd, including 100 cases related to rain flood. Traffic patrols dealt with 234 accidents. Civil defense dealt with 84 cases in the same context, while the National Ambulance dealt with 490 cases as part of its role in dealing with health emergencies.